Okay, so uh, this is where we've left off from our previous lesson. Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on uh, something that produces the data we need uh, to represent all these different elements, um, login page and so on. Okay, so uh, in our specification, we are going to start with uh, navigation. But to navigate, we need something to to work on, so we're going to generate a controller. Uh, we start with the posts controller. So this is going to have index, and it's also going to have show uh, method. Okay, so now that is done, um, as usual, we are going to start with our roots. So command P and roots, and then we can uh, go ahead and delete uh, this that was generated for us, and we're going to use resources. Now, because we're not using any namespaces, so we can directly say resources, and then this will be posts, resources, what we want. All right, so now if we go into application, uh, in our admin section, outside of admin section, we have a post controller, and within our admin, we still have the post controller from previous uh, work that we've done. Okay, so we are also going to uh, generate another controller, uh, this is for uh, messages and uh, messages has new method and it has create method so visitors can uh, create new messages and that's all they can do all right and now we can also what we can do is in one line we can create two resources so we could say resources post comma resources uh, messages all right so we could delete uh, these two uh, generated for us uh, but doing it this way means that we are basically um, generating lots of roots that we don't need so we could minimize that by saying uh, resources for posts should only give us a routing for um, our I think it's index and then the second one is the show method so now we can copy that and we can paste that in here and our message is now new and create all right so now we have that done that's the foundation of what we need now we can uh, come come here uh, delete this so we can have a look at the root so the routing is still going to our default rails um, root so what we can do is go into our root rb and we can specify say root 2 and then we tell it where we want it to root to so in this case posts hashtag index so every time we visit the root of our site it will point to our post index and there we go and it works all right so now uh, the next thing we want to do is start working on our navigations so that's going to be the next phase so if we uh, have a look here in our layouts we have admin layouts which we've used but we also have application layouts which we are going to be using for our front end so every new page we create in the front end will use this application dot um, rb so the first link we want here is the link to the name of our blog in this case kingsley jama is the name of the blog and we want when people click on this blog it will simply just take you to nowhere for now and then um, if we come here and refresh the page we could see uh, the name is there so that's hard coded and we are going to change that uh, shortly so the second thing we want to do is uh, link to posts now we need the roots for posts so this will become posts underscore path and then we save this Now, when we come over here and we refresh and we seem to have an error so that should be posts as plural uh, remember if we want to have a look at our roots we we'll say rake roots and this will give us a list of all the roots so there we have all the roots in our application and we can see uh, up here we have posts but this is for the admin namespace uh, but down here somewhere we have the posts uh, that we've just done so that's posts that's correct 
All right, so now if we go into our view and we refresh the page, we should have posts there. So it works. Uh, so when we click on our site name, I want it to go and point to posts path. So let's copy that there. And also uh, for the site name, we can get rid of this and we can say here setting dot first, find me the first record since we only ever have one record in setting and it give me the site name that has been specified. All right, so now when we refresh the page, we don't have any records there. So let's go into our admin uh, settings and then we can go ahead and create uh, a site name or add a site name to it. So I'm going to say Kingsley Drama and update. So now we have a name and when we go back here and we delete everything that we've done back to this point and refresh and we should have the name reading from the database. So it works. So now um, to proceed, I want to see if we can get rid of some of this work. So let's go into our settings um, model and I'm going to define a class method. So this method, I'll call this uh, site underscore name and end. And in here, we are going to do the same thing we've done in the view. So it's a settings.first.site name. So now that we've done this, we have a way of referencing a site name. So we could get rid of first. So we could call site name directly and it should still work. Refresh the page and everything still works as expected. All right, so now we can go ahead and create the rest of the links. So we'll start with uh, about. This is going to be a static page. It's not re read from the database. And this one is the contact. So we can uh, map this to our messages uh, path. <clears throat> so we say messages underscore path. Okay, so, um, but to be more spe uh, specific, we are actually mapping to new message path. Okay, so when we click on contact, it takes us to a page to create a new message. Okay, so let's have a look. <clears throat> and here we have uh, our contact, and when we click on it, we have our new message. All right, so, so far we've done this, this, and we've done that, so we can highlight them and shade them off. Okay, so now we have our sign-in page to do. So we can uh, do the same thing here, but before that, let's have a look. So our sign-in page uh, is up here as login. So it's login underscore path. So we could just call this login. We could also say login underscore path. All right, so let's save the work and let's come over here, uh, refresh the page and click on login. And login takes us to the login page. But the thing is, I'm already logged in. So rather than bring us to the login page, if you're logged in, it should take us to our dashboard. All right, so we can change that a bit. So Command P, we'll go to Sessions Controller. And in there, we have our new method. So new method handles uh, what happens when we click on uh, our new message, right? So I can say, go to Applications Controller, which is extended. So when we have current moderator, when this is true or has a, a content in it, it means that a user exists. So in that case, we want to redirect you. So if someone, if you're already logged in, we want to redirect you uh, somewhere. So let's have a look at our routes and see what the dashboard uh, path is. So we have dashboard is here. It says admin underscore dashboard underscore index. So if you're already logged in, uh, redirect to admin underscore dashboard underscore index underscore URL if current moderator. So this is how we check. If you're already logged in, then just redirect to the index of our dashboard. Okay, so let's try it. And there we go, and it works. We've been redirected to our dashboard. All right, so if I log out and I go to the on page and I try to log in, it takes us to the login page because we're not logged in. So everything works. So it's all good. So now we can say this is done. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so in the next lesson, we are going to start working on our posts and getting it to give us data to represent all this. Um, in this lesson, we've learned a few things. Uh, we've worked on applications. We've seen how layouts work. So we have one layout for admin. We have one layout for our front end and everything, all the pages are yielded here and everything else works. So we've, um, we still have all the controllers that we've done and our new controllers are outside of our admin namespace. So that's where this lesson ends and I will see you in the next lesson where we'll work on the posts side of things. So I'll see you there.